This is Jeopardy Penn State Shenango's tournament. Game 3, VTR date 10-13-2015. Upload date 10-20-2015. From Cravings and beautiful downtown Sharon, this is Penn State Shenango's Jeopardy Tournament. Here are the three contestants for this match. A retired CEO, Jack Wang. A co-manager at Cravings, Julie Byer. And a student at Sharpsville High School, Connor Edwards. And here's the host, Thank you, Craig Campbell, and thank you, my friends. Welcome, one and all, to the last of our qualifying round matches in Penn State Shenango's tournament, coming to you live from Cravings. Green Green Cafe in beautiful downtown Sharon. We're having a lot of fun tonight as we've already filled two spots in our finals. And we'll fill one more between Connor, Julie, and Jack. So good luck to all three of you. And now I ask you all to sign in and register with the game system. And now we put you all to the test in the Jeopardy round. Clues range in value from 200 points along the top windows, 1,000 points along the bottom windows. We've got one daily double hidden somewhere in one of these six categories. Let's take a look at it. In Joe Paterno's first year, this category is about events that occurred in 1966, which was Joe Paterno's first year as Penn State Tech football coach. Reference books. I Love Lucy, classic television series. Animal quotes. Foreign words and phrases. And finally, one of my favorites, stupid answers. Jack, let's get started. Stupid. We begin with this. We begin with this. A doctor scrubs in for surgery wearing these. Connor, form a question. Correct, you draw first blood. It's the third largest city in Kansas. Jack. What is the pizza? No. Connor. Yes. She's a stupid answer, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's a, this is Sheldon Cooper up here, by the way. Jack. What is I here? No. Quit nagging, Jack. It's early. Connor. For the question. Yes. <laughs> All right. Take a look. This is a video. He's the illustrator whose work appears on the Can't flag see stamp seen here. Okay. Who is James Montgomery Flag? Back to you, Connor. In 2015, Whistling Straits in Wisconsin hosted this PGA Championship. Stupid answers. Too late. What is the PGA Championship? Back to you, Connor. If you can tell me what guilt means in Yiddish, you'll earn some right now. Connor. Yes. Now let's see if it's your board again. Answer. Alright, for 1800, if you're right, foreign words and phrases is your category. Here's your daily double, Connor. Benito Mussolini took this title, meaning the leader. Hurry. Right. Too late. Il Duce. All right, you're down to a thousand, but it's still early in the game. Pick again. French for 
for false step, it's another way of saying blunder or gap. But it's faux pas. Back to you, Connor. This second highest honors distinction at graduation is Latin Fork with great praise. Julie. No. Connor. No. Jack. No. Sue Magna Cum Laude. Now, our no foul, all three of you lost the same 800 points. And it's back to... <laughs> Referring to the sacred book of Hinduism, Veda means knowledge in this classical language. Connor. It no good. Jack. Yes. Get out of that minus. It's your board. Joe Potter, first year. In Joe Paterno's first year, Secretary of State Rust visited this capital to assure South Vietnam we wouldn't sell it out. He visited Saigon. Back to you, Jack. 400. Good. On December 18th, this Dr. Seuss animated classic aired for the first time. Connor. No. <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Aww. December 18th. Back to you, Jack. I'm much <laughs> This leader launched his cultural revolution. Jack? I'll say tough. Yes. You're bored again. For 800. U.S. Catholic bishops did away with the rule prohibiting this on Friday. Julie? Let's take a break and, and then we'll come back and we'll go around and get back on track. Out.